o'clock right now. It's a little after nine o'clock now. I've already gone to the gym and done a session. Ooh, it's windy. Okay, we're gonna go on this side of my car. It's gonna be a little bit easier. I already went to the gym at 5.30 this morning only for one session. So I was done with work at 6.15 a.m., did my workout, came home, and now my day is basically done, aside from a few video things, but yeah, super, probably the quickest morning I've ever had at the gym. I gotta run to Target right now and pick up some things. I will be right back. <laughs> Some of the stuff I needed. The target that's closest to me is a little bit small. So I'd only found like maybe half of what I really needed, which is weird. I feel like I usually end up spending more money at Target than I need to. Telos, what's up little man? You gonna stretch your paws out right here now? Are you gonna lay down? There's the stretch. Oh, good boy. And he lays down. Look at your belly. You got a little belly on you, you know that? <laughs> okay, I got this thing for a specific reason, and it involves backpacking. So my backpacking stuff, at least the food, has just been sitting in my pantry. All like the, the dry food, that kind of stuff. Stuff that's not going to go bad, at least not very quickly. Tuna. More tuna. Drink powder. The reason I got these things, these storage containers, is to hold all this dry food. Hey, you trying to eat my taco seasoning, bro? Obviously there isn't that much food right now. That's because I don't have any backpacking trips coming up, but now I can just keep these things organized inside these containers, and I know I have backpacking food ready to go whenever I need it, and I can kind of stock up on like the dehydrated meals, the whatever, rice packets, those sort of things that you bring for backpacking food. This basement is ridiculous. Oh. So here, this is some of the camping stuff I have. There is more of it sitting over that way. Also, this mess down here is gonna be upstairs in a little bit because there's some changes coming soon. So my roommate who actually owns this house, he's my, he's my roommate, my boss, and my landlord, <laughs> but he now bought a second house. So I'm going to have this one, he's gonna move out and then I get to make this place my own. So that's what I mean by saying that mess that's in the basement, I'm actually going to have like a, a place, a room to store my gear upstairs, have it much more organized because I'm an organized person. I like to be organized. I like things to be where they're supposed to be. That's coming soon. I'm excited for it because I got some cool plans for this place. That's also why there is boxes, 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 boxes. It's been a little bit of chaos while my roommate who owns 90% of the stuff in this house is moving his things out and then I move the rest of my things back in and get things that I need for a house. Last week I got decently sick. I think it was just like a cold or something, totally undiagnosed, I don't think it was COVID. Actually, today it's been three years since lockdown started. That's kind of crazy. Saturday was pretty rough, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday. Wednesday started feeling better. It was really hard to get work done. It was hard to function at the gym, make videos, all that kind of stuff. But I'm glad it's over now, I'm much better. <laughs> Okay, I found one of the only places here that's somewhat out of the wind and it's shaded so I can actually see what's going on here. So, you know how I deleted all of my hair videos? I, or I guess they're not deleted, they are privatized. I still have them, they're just not out to the public. But it took a lot of thought in doing that and it is a decision I thought about for a long time, but I'm glad I did it. So here's what happened after I removed all of those old hair videos. So what I think is pretty interesting is that there isn't a huge drop in the amount of views that I was getting. That's kind of hard to tell because there's those like two big spikes in the graph and the first one comes from when I had that sponsored video, the company itself promoted that video, giving it a ton of views in that short time frame. And then the other one is just a YouTube short, which generally YouTube shorts kind of like live and die in a really short span. So there's those two spikes make it hard to read the graph a bit, but if you notice on that very small trend line on the bottom, there isn't really 
a decrease or an increase in the amount of views that I was getting and the amount of views that I get now. It's basically the same. I removed those videos on January 1st of this year of 2023. Now what I do find interesting is the revenue. There is like a 50% drop in the amount of revenue that I'm getting on YouTube now compared to before I deleted those videos, which is a pretty significant drop. Okay, now I wanna make it very, very clear. I am not complaining that I'm making less money. I totally expected that to happen. And the amount of money that I make on YouTube, even before I remove those videos, is not a significant amount of income. I, I do not make very much off YouTube. So I'm not complaining, I just think it's interesting. Oh, the wind. Man, it is, why is it stupid cold? It's supposed to be getting warmer. I think today's St. Patrick's Day. I've seen people in like, St. Patty's Day here. It's gotta be something like that today. March 17th, is that St. Patrick's Day? I don't know, I don't even really know what that day's for. I just know it's something about Irish and drinking a lot of beer. But yeah, so there is, my AdSense revenue is about 50% less now compared to when I, before I deleted those videos, which is kind of weird. This just shows that the type of content that you make is a really good indicator and predictor on how much revenue you will make from AdSense on YouTube find that pretty interesting. But I used to be so embarrassed about those old hair videos. If you were to go on my channel and search by most popular, you would have seen like the first 12 videos were all hair videos, the most popular ones that I had. But now if you go to search by most popular, they're all videos that I am very, very proud of. And I'm very happy to see that. But yeah, if you were wondering what happened after I removed all my old hair videos, that's kind of what it looks like on the behind the scenes end of the YouTube stuff. Maybe, maybe I'll just cut all this off, you know? It's been over five years now, if you didn't know that. It's been a long time. The thing is like, to this, I think this beard is gonna go away soon too. I think it's the longest I've ever had my beard and eating sucks, brushing teeth sucks. Just gets in the way all the time. Okay, I'm going back home. Gotta get more work done. It's a good time-lapse day, you know? It just feels like a good day to do time-lapse. The clouds are moving, the wind's blowing. <laughs> it's a good time-lapse day. Remember last week when I said it was gonna snow a bunch that night of that video? Well, it did, and even though it's all gone now, the snow is super heavy, and this happened. Just, <laughs> I don't know why you can see it, but <laughs> that's a whole huge chunk of that tree is laying on those lines. It's literally like on the lines. Like it's in the yard. <laughs> literally hanging on the lines right there. Funny thing is that the energy company and AT&T and another internet company are all kind of battling out who has to take care of it, so right now it's just in the yard still, and we're waiting for one of those companies to claim responsibility and take it off the power lines. I wish I would have seen that happen because that would have been pretty cool to see. Things are starting to look a little bit more empty in here. Still a whole couch, but it's kind of starting to look like a house that someone is moving out of. All right, that's it for today's video. Thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you in my next one. Is having a little bit warmer face when I step outside worth getting a face full of food and toothpaste? And, oh, I think it's time to let the beard go away. Ooh.